my name is Professor Smornitic Barry from Barry Town Lab, and today we will be looking at the partition of Bengal into East and West Bengal. East Bengal being composed predominantly of Muslims and West Bengal of Hindus. Now the partition of Bengal was the splitting of the province of Bengal. Now Bengal was giant, so the Brits had to use the divide and conquer strategy. How big was the province of Bengal exactly? Well, to give you a scope, New York has around 8 million people. Now think of this. West Bengal, actually Bengal, at that time, had 80 million people. I'm not kidding. 80 million. So, the Brits wanted to divide to make sure it was just easier to rule over with an iron fist. What was proposed by somebody named Curzon, George Curzon, the Governor General of British Raj, was proposed that they would just split the Bengalis in half into West Bengal and East Bengal. Therefore, not specifically because of religion, but rather instead just to split them apart. The Hindus thought of this as an attack. Why? They didn't support it. Why? Well, because all the Hindus living in East Bengal, which was a lot, frankly, would become a minority if they were split apart. So, they protested, and they didn't want the change to happen, but the Muslims did. But, the thing is, the Hindus uh, had still a bit of power, and the Bangladesh Parliament was up in flames, not Bangladesh yet, but Bengal Parliament was up in flames and broken and arguing and stuff. And so, the Hindus started boycotting all British goods and services, like school, bus, transportation, or really anything that the Brits offered. And so, the Bengal Parliament just went up in flames with the older leaders of the parliament trying to convince the younger paranoid leaders to stop you stop boycotting of course and you know start using the british goods again eventually the hindus thought that they would win by just sitting back and doing nothing eventually not quite that but they thought that something could save them from the partition of Minga. a new elected leader in parliament and they hoped he would be the Indian sympathizer. But let's just wait and see for him to reveal his true colors in part two. Meanwhile, I'm going to give my personal analysis on how the Brits ruled India and really why they split it up. You can give your own analysis out in the comments. Probably the Brits will be angry. But this is my personal analysis. Doesn't have to be yours, but it's just my opinion. Alright, so my opinion is that the Brits divided this to make it easier to rule uh, with an iron fist, with a strong fist, and have the uh, tiny parliament, due to the splitting, be crushed by the overall British power. Alright, that's just my opinion on how uh, King George the Sixth rule the place. So, you can leave your comments out in the description. You can give your own personal analysis, as I encourage you to. But, that's going to be the end of today, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Hamid Tumai Bhanu Bhashi